All, All right. right, well, soon we will be ready for sweater weather. And so we want to learn what trendy stuff is for the new season. Well, absolutely. I talked with Dana Isom, a fashion blogger, about what's hot on Etsy and what items are must-haves for autumn. All right, so for the fall season, I've got one major theme that you should keep in mind for all of your purchases, and that theme is maximalism. So that means don't be afraid to pile on the bold colors, the patterns, the prints, mix it all and make a bold statement. I love the sound of that, a word I, I can live with because I love the bright, bold <laughs> colors I'm seeing a lot of. What are ways to add that into our wardrobe? Absolutely. So me too. I'm with you. I'm, I'm not into the dainty. I like the bold statements. Now what's very exciting is that everything that I'm going to show you today ships for free. So in fact now when you shop on Etsy most items that are over $35 and shipped to the U.S. ships for free. So let's dig into some of my favorites and how you can introduce maximalism into your wardrobe. So the one thing that I'm really loving that is an absolutely incredibly versatile style is the silk scarf. You can do so much with it. You can tie it in your hair, you can do a neckerchief, you could tie it as a belt. Even if you're too afraid to jump into scarf land, start by tying it on the side of your leather bag. It's a really great combination of textures and bold prints. Now it's, uh, it's kind of warm around here now, but we're going to be cool soon. And it, we like to call it sweater weather. So might I ask, are there trends yes. with sweaters we could as well incorporate? Absolutely. So with sweaters, of course, you're, you're kind of taken up to the neck, especially if you have on a turtleneck. So my solution for you is to introduce the modern hoop. Now, of course, hoops are not a brand new concept. They've been around for forever. But today's hoops for the fall season have a little twist on them. So there's added gemstones, added pearls. Pearls are a huge trend right now. Or you'll see mixed metals or the doubling and layers of hoops. It's a great way to still accessorize yourself in that sweater weather. <laughs> I love that indeed. And then of course, with fall comes the need for a little change in our hairstyle. So are there things we can do to add or take away? Absolutely. So, especially for your hair right now, we're having a major resurgence of the 90s. So, I was a 90s baby, so this is, this is my decade. Uh, that means those scrunchies that you wore around your, your wrist as a bracelet, they're back. But now you'll see them in interesting textures like velvet and prints. You'll also see the comeback of large barrettes in your hair, uh, velvet headbands, any and everything that you can add to make that extra bold statement. And you know what? It's another good solution for those sweater weather days when you want a slick back hairstyle. <laughs> Girl, you are talking my language right now because I feel like you're bringing back <laughs> my youth. With everything you've said, I still have yes. a few of these items all in my closet and my accessory drawer. But before we wrap up, what about the guys in our lives? Oh, fellas, I got you. Don't worry. So today's man really considers accessories just as essential to their look as we do with our headbands and everything. But the number one accessory that I think is really making the strongest comeback has a southwestern influence, and it's the return of the bolo tie. Do you remember the bolo tie? Wow, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, like I said, southwestern styles are really coming back. So you'll see a lot of cowboy boots, these bolo ties for guys. If you can believe it, specifically bolo ties on Etsy, searches have gone up 14%. So shoppers are already engaging in this, and they are embracing their inner cowboy and cowgirl.